everyone this is a video about DP9 and clippings so I've got a session here I'm a, I'm a drummer so I use multi multi inputs uh, here I've got a whole drum kit set up and some buses that I want to transfer from one project to another I want to show you the mixing board here I've got some plugins and some fader positions all set up and and even the buses so what I want to do is transfer that from one session to another so what I'm going to do is not just click the drums here on the channel names, but I'm actually going to click here in the uh, data column or where the, where the audio or data would be recorded. And then I'm going to go to the clippings menu and I'm going to say new digital performer clipping window. And I'm going to call that new drums fulfill. And then what I'm going to do is select, like I said, in that data range there, and I'm going to go to the edit and copy to clipping window and I'm going to copy to new drums for fill is the clippings folder I just created. And so that um, assume has been pasted. Then I'm going to close this session and I'm going to open a brand new one that's empty uh, here just to show you how it transfers. So let's click that. I'm just going to call that test and send that to the desktop. I'll just open this right up for you here. And so now when I go to my clippings windows, I've got my new drums for fill there. So I bring that to the fore and all I have to do is hover over that little note dot and I just drag it into that section of the window and boom, all my channels are there. They're already named and the buses that I imported as well. Now at the moment, for whatever reason, those buses aren't coming up uh, active, but they should. Um, and the inputs that I selected from the last session, because I always want my inputs to be the same for the hardware I've been using, uh, will come up the same as well when I'm plugged into my hardware, but I'm not plugged into my audio hardware at the moment. Uh, and then you jump over, and I'll just make sure, sorry, I'll just make sure these are enabled for you now, and you'll see when I switch them all to the same bus, that when I go to the mixer, my levels here are the same and my audio plugins as well, even though these ones are disabled. So no matter what state you left those channels in, when you put them to the clippings window, they'll actually transfer to the new um, session that way. Anyway, I hope that helps you. That's DP9 clippings using the clippings window for multi-channel inputs. Hope that helps.